Hey guys, how are you? Hey, great. Happy to be on time. <laughs> hey, I see that, Oscar. I see that. Congratulations. Good to have that. <laughs> How's your day? Pretty, pretty busy, actually. It's, it's been quite a hectic day. I've had so many movements and so many activities and uh, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's amazing. So, mm -hmm. so I don't know if you've heard of this website called OnlyFans. No? No? I don't know. Okay. So it's, it, it's a website where people pay a service for, for watching, for looking at videos or for content or things like that. Uh -huh. um, they, it, it's usually associated with some kind of sexual services, like, you know, like uh, uh, videos for uh, women being naked or stripping or something like this. But there are other services. There, there, um, there are other services like financial services or, um, you know, teaching or lessons or things like this. So I have, I had someone uh, have the idea that, uh, that I should have a, a service for uh, for this this type of service that only fans but for english speakers for a because the the price is very small for example the people pay three dollars a month or four dollars a month but they receive like the class they receive uh youtube videos they receive content they receive uh exercises or practice for for this amount so the idea is that the amount is so small yes but you have a lot of people. You have maybe 100 subscribers. You have wow. 200 subscribers. So if they pay so they three, pay they pay you three dollars. For example, mm -hmm. I say Oscar. It, it, well, here because Insa Forbes, right? But the idea yeah. is, imagine if Insa Forbes didn't offer, and I say, offer oh, Oscar, you can have a, we can have classes and English and lessons for three dollars a month. Ah, oh, what? Well, then you say, well, for three dollars, mm, <laughs> I I try one month. Yeah. Even if you don't, maybe you don't like that because not everyone likes online. But so I thought, oh, so today was this activities, just doing different projects. And there's, wow. I so don't how know. How many students you have? I don't, I don't have any, big, but it, it's the proposal. The, the, the person that, uh, one of the persons, uh, he wants to do the editing. He's, he wants to do the, all of the, the videos, the manipulation, the editing, the, the sound. And yeah. then I, I only give the class. So I thought, huh, it's, it's interesting. Interesting the concept because, it, like I said, normally it's associated with uh, sexual services, but they offer all types of services. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, it's only funny, but, you know, it's like if you say, where do you work? And I say, oh, I work at Lips. Mm. <laughs> yes. I mean, the association is... Eh, I mean, a job is a job and you are there maybe as an accountant or maybe as a bartender or, or something else. Right. But, yes. but the problem is the association with, with the position. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's true. So how's the weather around your neighborhood? No trees down on the street? Right now? No, but this morning it was, it was very windy. I felt the roof was almost going to, to come off the house. Have you been in Chicago before? Yeah, I, I live it's, near it's Chicago. Like this? Um, similar to this. Yeah, similar to this. The, the, difference wow. is that, the difference is that Chicago is, you know, it, it's funny that you mentioned Chicago, Oscar, because the, the reality is Chicago, yes, it's windy. It's, a windy, it's windy, but uh, physically. But the name is not Windy City because of the physical. It's not because of the wind. It's uh -huh. the, is called the Windy City because of the political affiliations. Before, oh. <laughs> before the people in Chicago used to be like pancakes, <laughs> Democrats, yeah. Republicans. And so they say that the people move like the wind. If the wind blows this way, they change. If the wind blows this way, they change. Oh, so, interesting. So the, the, the name, the Windy City for Chicago. It's not, it's not because of the weather. It, it, uh, originally, no, it's, it's not because of the weather. It's, it's for political reasons, but it, it all, but luckily that Chicago is also windy. So it, it's kind of like two, two for one later. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, interesting. All right. Yeah. I, I see Gladys has her notebook. She's ready. Um, I see Gladys is in the dark, but it's okay. Only have the light from the computer. Right, Gladys? Yes, okay. I see. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Gladys, you got to be like Oscar. The Christmas tree in the back and the lights and the uh, celebration and everything is ready. <laughs> Something like that. All right. So we're going to start off. I, uh, we got a few people. I'm sure more people will come in in a few moments. And the first thing we're going to start off with is we're going to make our small groups. And we're going to talk about different ways that we are, are traditionally do things. Okay. So we're going to talk about habits. We're going to talk about celebrations. In the United States, they have Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Um, here in El Salvador, we have uh, the Day of the Dead. We have uh, Christmas and New Year's, which is a big celebration for, for us as well as for them. But we also have others, other days. Um, some people, you know, they have other days that they celebrate, things like that. So we're going to look at this, this idea or this concept of customs. What are things that are, what do we do customary, okay? So, you know, the idea is for us to practice just making use making usage of the clauses stating reasons so for example why do we put a christmas tree um what why do you do that or why do you have um why do you give a present okay so whatever just giving reasons for the things that we celebrate so today's topic is going to be for the celebrations okay activities customs habits Okay, I've noticed, for example, for me, one of the most amazing things about El Salvador that I that you will never learn in the book is the way people dress, the way people, uh, the clothes that people use. In the United States, it's in many parts, it's colder than El Salvador, right? It, because El Salvador is a warm country, but there are so many people, so many people that wear shorts. And in El Salvador, almost no one wears shorts. Oh, you go in the street and it can be a hot, hot day and the people don't wear shorts. They only wear shorts in the beach. Okay. So you give a reason. Why is this? Oh, is, you know, some people say, well, regardless uh, or um, uh, it doesn't, uh, or they say, if, even if it's 100 degrees in El Salvador, I always wear jeans. Okay. Or um, unless I'm at the beach, uh, I, uh, I wear a, a suit, okay? Or I wear tennis shoes. So these are the ideas, okay? We're gonna take a moment, discuss uh, the different habits and the different activities that we have in our country. And we're gonna give reason for them. Why, why do these things happen? Okay, you guys ready? No, but yes. All right. Yes. <laughs> Sandra, you okay? Did you get the invitation? Okay, perfect. Okay. Is it is it windy where you at? Oh yes, it's it's really windy. I I had to go out today. Uh huh. Because of my job and uh, I couldn't open my umbrella because you know the wind was gonna to, to, to break it. So I was just walk walk to my job without the umbrella, and getting wet because of the rain. But it wasn't raining hard. Okay. Yeah, over here is really windy right now. Very windy. I'm I'm locked in my room right now because it's too windy outside. So uh, I I almost didn't you know join the group because of that. But uh, with locked doors, maybe you know it's not. I don't get interrupted by that wind. And by the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Yes. Awful. 
really awful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, really awful. Yes. I hope 2021 will be better. Well, I hope so. Yes. It seems like if we weren't in, in winter, in a rainy season, but we are really close to Christmas and it feels really weird because it is continuous. It continues raining. Yes, it continues. It continues raining. Could you imagine that we were in on December and it is still raining? It's going to be a really awful Christmas. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Just I think so. I feel that way. <laughs> I need my well, sunny days on December. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you usually do what do you usually do on the holy week? It is also okay. I'm not pretty sure what is the number. But I, I just remember there is one number that what is the is it is a, a listening and reading section. Let me what it is. I've been trying to, to do that part, but I couldn't finish because uh, maybe I ha I've been writing uh, runners or it's like in the one of the that you have to put the write it down the word system, not the, not the whole com not the, the complete word. Yes, those makes a lot of mistakes, right? Because of the system. Yes. Where did you work at? Maybe, maybe uh, what? Maybe because uh, where they uh, grew up, maybe they they learned that because it's a it's part it's part of the culture culture in El Salvador and and maybe because that. Uh, I think that I don't do that because I didn't learn that in my family. I never, I, uh, in my family, never did that uh, kind of decorations. So my wife neither do that. So, so we don't do that in in my in my home. And I think people do that because. So they have uh, families, I don't know. They learn this. Maybe. Yeah, was part of their learning. We, we do what we learn in our, in our home. So I think that's why people do do that kind of. But no. no, no, it's, uh, I, I am, I am just, uh, I, I am, I graduated, uh, I got my GED over there in the United States, so I'm, I'm pretty fluent, and when they hear me talking, they think that I, that I'm, you know, like a teacher or something, but they give me the opportunity, but just to, like, help them improve their vocabulary and uh, fluency. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They just, they just want someone like... Uh, so you used to live in the U.S.? Yes, 17 years ago. 17 I mean, years? I, I lived there for 17 years. Man, that's why you don't want to be in El Salvador anymore. You're not uh, Salvadorian. <laughs> you're, you're half Salvadorian. Yeah, half something American. like that. It feels like it. Cause, see, yeah, the, I, I, bet, I bet it's real it's for you since you have lived your whole life your, over there yeah it's, most of your life over there yeah, yeah. I, I left here when i was 14 years old Imagine, and i come back and i was like 33 yeah okay, come back in no. uh, 2016 i come back okay yeah man now, now i understand now i understand yeah. I'll, I'll be like you the 25 was it was very uh, amazing because they were, uh, they, there were more people, for example, my aunt, and 
one two ounce and then we have a lot of food and not turkey but because they they used to have uh like they used to eat fish but it's fish. like bacalao yes <laughs> codfish yes something like that it's like um it's like meat but yes but meat um i don't know it's like uh, como carne deshilada algo así pero el pescado okay. pescado mm -hmm. va así como deshilado no sé <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's a little bit weird but that's the that's the best thing to travel in in the festivities the yes, you're right you're right yes Considering that you really missed celebrating those days here in El Salvador because we are like really crazy when we celebrate that kind of festivities. We pop yeah. crackers, also fireworks, even if it, that's not necessary because all the countries, most of the countries just uh, pop crackers or fireworks just only in the, in the midnight but we do it the whole night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But I love it. I used to do that, but I'm too old to celebrate that way. No, yeah. you're never too old <laughs> to celebrate that way. <laughs> <laughs> I just rather eat or cooking during the whole day. Oh, yes. yes. Or maybe dancing. In our cases, most of the most cultu cultural situation. Yeah, that I remember. We are not I remember. Used to... Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, don't worry. We're not used to get uh, some kind of shirt. Even that, some people does because if you walk on the streets, uh, many people now, right now, nowadays, use <laughs> shorts. So yeah. they go to the not even to go to the beach. They go to the malls, even to take, even to have dinners, and and having a, a great time with friends. So they are wearing shorts. Yeah, Mister. Right now, who is in the U.S.? You you grew up in the U.S., right? I, yes, yes. I I was born here, but I left when I was young. So yes, I grew but up there. Do they do they teach you on? For example, we were talking about what you said. Uh, did they teach you, like in third or fourth grade, how to dress up? I mean, it was a manual in the school for you for that, or first of all, how to eat and you know, it's how funny. To yes, the, the, it's funny that you mentioned that, but there are many things that are different in the U.S. compared to El Salvador. For example, in the U.S., there are no uniforms. Yeah, you don't receive uniforms in yeah. schools. Or and, and you don't use uniforms in school. It's not appropriate to use uniforms. The only reason you use uniforms is if you are rich. Only the rich people use uniforms because they go to the private schools. Just a lot of the rings. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, then as far as the conduct, there are some things that I can understand why Americans are the way they are. For example, the Americans love their military uh, in, in Salvador. Uh, you see the military and the people don't applaud them. They don't congratulate them. They're not, it's not a, it's not a profession. It's, it's a job. But in the U.S., no. But it's because when you are young, every day, every morning before the school begins, you have to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, uh, kind of like uh, uh, El Honor a la Bandera, or La Oración a la Bandera. But you do it every day every day so everyone knows it and and they and the the idea is that the military sacrificed their life to save you to protect you to give you the ability so there there are some conducts that you learn just from being in this environment mm -hmm. and the same thing for example like what eric was mentioning that there are some things that uh, as as an example they put in the garbage when you are in the school from when you are little you learn nobody puts the garbage in the street this is this is bad educated this is that you are like an animal that you you live in 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 a poor community you have a poor mentality everyone learns to put the garbage in the correct place to recycle not not you know to be clean 
in this in in this is how you're supposed to be. Yeah, I I ask this because when I used to go to third grade in here in El Salvador, mm -hmm. I used to have a book on on social studies that the name it was called Urbanidad. <laughs> So they teach you. I remember. I, I remember that book. They teach you how to dress up on each uh, place, on how to eat on some places, and they make you tests of this. So I don't know if you continue working because you mentioned days ago on this school, Garcia Flamenco. <laughs> I used uh, to study. Uh -huh. I used to study there. Mm -hmm. So it's not anymore like that. The school has changed a lot, but on the eighties and nineties the lemma how do you say lemma i'm sorry uh, uh the model the, lo the lo slogan or the, model? the slogan yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it was educación con disciplina <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was like a mix of education of military they check you the nails they check you you share the i don't know if you have friends there other t-shirts like the uh, old ones yeah 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 not anymore but uh-huh uh, i don't know if they tell you it was really and it, it helps a lot. They check you if you have napkin or your shoes the, should be shining. The handkerchief, stuff. right? El pañuelo that you have to carry, that, all yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. The things. And uh, if you don't bring it like three times, you, you, you got in trouble. <laughs> and it was real. So it was a big, the notebooks from one color, each subject, things like that, right? Mm -hmm. So they teach us how to wear cloth because of the season and all the things right yeah it's weird it's it's just it's just weird that because before before people thought this was important like what for example what color what does it matter if your notebook is red or yellow yeah how is it going to affect your learning yeah. and this is this is the different concepts that you know that it's salvador even even today it's salvador my children go to a school and every subject has a color a orange uh yellow they have to make margins around and, and yeah. it's, it's the it's the system it's, it's the system it's not i i don't get angry because i know this is at salvador yeah <laughs> and you're from here and i'm from here yes and i know the emphasis the emphasis is not on learning in el salvador the emphasis is on memorizing uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, this is the, because in El Salvador, I remember that it, 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 some of the students, my ex-students, maybe in, in sixth grade or seventh grade, they were so happy that they memorized the periodic table. And? Oh, yeah. Oh. And? So? What, what, what does the periodic table do? with? What do you do with the information? And yeah. in the and this is the difference that in other countries it's not about memorizing the information is knowing how to use the information manipulating the information creating with the information talking about cloth also my grandpa used to say that uh, he was feeling like pain in his heart because on the 70s and 60s all the people around he was from Santa Ana right mm -hmm. so they used to wear hats but he was uh, angry and upset at the same time, uh, telling uh, like these fucking guys, <laughs> they don't want to wear a hat anymore. They they are just looking for baseball caps from the United States, <laughs> and they don't, and they don't even know esquipulas, right? So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think also that part of that or dress up is the American influence. I don't. I think so. Yeah. It, and, and not so much the American thing. Let me connect again. Shopping mode, I don't know. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. And I, for me, I think it's not so much the American influence. It's our brothers, sisters, aunts, and uncles that moved to the U.S. It's, yeah. it's our, own, our own blood that influenced us. Because, for example, I have family members in the U.S. And when I say I'm going to buy a computer, buy a Mac, buy an Apple by, uh, oh, I need to buy shoes. Oh, you need to have Nike. You need to have Adidas. It, and it's not that they're the best, but this is for them the best. So, because many of our family send packages to El Salvador, send clothes, send money, send these things. They influence our, our taste. They influence what we think is good or what we think is, is the appropriate thing to have. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a huge topic.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, let me. We gotta get back. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Everybody's back. Great. So before we, we're going to go ahead and do another activity in a moment. Let me share my screen with you. Make sure that it's clear. I know some of you have already mentioned and expressed that you have completed the exam, but it's my responsibility to go over the sections to make sure that there are no questions and make sure that everybody understands what to do in each part. In, we have finished already all four sections. So now there's only the final exam. In the final exams, you have several sections, as you can see. It goes from section A all the way to section E. Section A is a listening section. It's not just one exercise. It's, there are two different sections. That means there are two audios. Okay, here's part two and here's part one. Each section has several questions. In the first part, it's only true or false. So you listen, and not for your opinion, but for the listening. According to the listening, is it true or false what they say? In part two, you listen, and according, you complete the sentence with the appropriate information. If you need to listen more than one time, go ahead. It's not a problem. I always recommend that you should listen more than one time. You should listen and make your selection. Then you should listen again and check your selection to see if you agree that the answers are the same that you heard, okay? So that's why I always recommend at least two times. The first you listen and check, the second, uh, sorry, the first you listen and answer, and the second one you listen and check. That's section A for listening. In section B, we have combining sentences. Now here in the first part, because there are two parts, okay, and this one is putting the words in the correct order, and this one is combining. Here, we're using the defining relative clauses. For those that don't remember, it's those words that begin with uh, who, what, which, that. Most of these are going to be uh, that or who. Remember, in general, who are for people and that are for things, okay, which are for choices. So. If you have a non-defining, that means there's going to be a comma before the word who, that, or which, or those words, and there's going to be a comma at the end of that phrase before the next verb, okay? If it's defining, that means it's necessary and it's only going to be the sentence without a comma. And you're going to know the difference because if it's necessary, it's usually at the end. If it's not necessary, usually in the middle because it goes in between the complete sentence. That's part one. In part two, it's just you don't have to think about uh, writing it or make the mistake of putting it correctly. Only you read the sentence and these words, you choose which is the correct order to complete that sentence or phrase, okay? In this moment, part one, or part A or part B, are there any questions? We're clear, teacher. Okay, all right, good, good to hear that. Okay, now in part C, it's completing the sentences, okay? So you're gonna use these words to complete the sentence. Some of you uh, maybe have noticed, some of you maybe have not because you weren't in, in class or you missed the, the message in what's up. There is a part where it's talking about, uh, one of the answers is going to be transportation system. But the answer that you select for that, the correct, the correct is answer system. is just system, yes. This is a mistake in the platform because they give you transportation system, but in there, in the section where it's supposed to be the answer, you only have to write the word system, okay? And the other words are correct. So you just read and decide which word is the correct one. Okay. Then, in part two, it's using the phrasal verbs. The phrasal verbs, you read the sentence and you complete it, okay? 
Now here for the phrasal verbs, uh, I do, re uh, if I remember, you have to change them according to the sentence. Okay, so that means that sometimes you need to put them in the present tense or the past tense. You have to read and make sure. Although I'm looking at them and no, I think it's just putting in the correct phrasal verbs for those. Okay, so this one complete with the word that you are given and this one is the same but for the phrasal verbs. Then in part D, it's choosing the word. You just choose according to what we've seen for the times, the word orders, just choose the best word. Which one is the right one to complete it? You know, which is the correct time order? What does the before and after mean or right after or whenever, things like that. You just read and choose which one is the best one for it, okay? This part is the part where probably you have to take a little bit more time because there are many options, okay? And this is what we were just, what you just practiced. This is what you practiced yesterday and today, using these words, unless, as long as, uh, considering that, okay, in, in, the ca in case, or even if. So read the sentence carefully and choose according to the phrase that they're giving you, according to this, which is the correct answer, which is the most appropriate answer for that, okay? So this one is the part, one more, part D. And the last part of your exam, already something that's very easy, something that you're used to, which is reading. And from the reading, I always recommend, it's small here, so if possible, always click on it so you can make it big, and that way you don't have any problems, and then you just go back, right? You read and then you circle true or false, Again, according to the information that's in the text here. Are there any questions at this moment? No, teacher, I no. don't. Okay, yeah. I don't, Mister. I don't have any questions about the exam, but I do have a questions about the request of the certificate because I was looking in the progress and it says request the certificate and I don't know if click there or not. Yes, yes, click there. Okay. Yes, if you have the option already available for a request a certificate, click there and you will get the, you can print out the certificate and receive it. Ah, okay, thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome, okay. Now, if you there- know, I'm sorry, sir, can you save it as a PDF as well? Yes, I believe you can. You can download it and save it. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Because you might need it later on as well. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Sure. Any other questions? I have a question, teacher. Yeah, Karen. With the art articles. How do you put the order in the article? For example, in the in the final test, I think it's part B. I'm not sure about it. Okay. Uh, but uh, the the right order in the in the article. For example, if we have three or four articles, how we put first and then? Okay. Let me. I'm checking right now in part B just to make sure that we have. Um... Let me share my screen one more time and you tell me if this is the correct section that you are asking about. Is this? Uh, yes, yeah. uh huh. Okay. Because right. we, we have two or three articles, you know? Correct. How, how do I know what is first? No problem, Karen. I will put a um, we had previously discussed it um, a little while ago it, it's it, it was in one of our classes but I will put again the the correct order so that you that you have which is the correct order for these articles because there's a specific order that you need in order to it has to go with let me see if I have it here ah I found it one moment Okay, I'll send it again. Okay. 
Canon, did you receive it in the WhatsApp? Do you see it? Yes. Okay. Yes, so that is okay. So that that image that you receive or that image in WhatsApp is um, is from the video. It's from section uh, three point seven. And in section 3.7, you can watch the video again if you need to, but that is the correct order. You start with an, a determiner. That means you start with the word a uh, or an or the, and then you go with those orders. If you have an opinion or a color or, you know, you according to what you have, you look at the order and that's how you know which one is the right one. Is that okay, Karen? Yes, sorry, Peter, but my internet is unstable right now. I don't know, maybe for the no rain. No, no problem. Mm. Yeah, no worries. We all are having problems. I, with the I, internet right I have now. a question. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you can. Uh, do you have any like uh, spelling grammar? Uh, no, like grammar rules uh, that you can like share with me. Uh, uh, like all of the rules that we that we've looked through from it will, from, it will be it will be nice if you got them all <laughs> they're, they're all in the platform the ones that we've seen they're all there the, they're the ones that um if you also look at for example in the whatsapp um our group whatsapp and you click here if you click at the top um i don't know if you can see that i want to make sure it's not too bright yes and, okay uh, all right so when you click on that there's a section that says media link media link and docs okay uh, so you click on media links and documents and you will see all of the grammar that we've gone through um it, it's actually for for this month as well as last month so you can see from oh. our our first class of using vocabulary for example adjectives like friendly outgoing um family members everything that we have uh seen or knowledge check 1.2 um things that we've looked at, the readings, um, the modals, the phrasal verbs for obligation, all, all of that is in there. So you just click on that part in all of the images and things, at least that the, um, not exercises specifically, but at least the, the grammar rules you'll be able to review uh, fairly quickly. Is it, can, can we like um, listen to our videos on subtitles? You have, you can, but you have to go to the YouTube channel to do that. Okay, so we can like uh, pretty much get it on English in English. Yeah, if if the YouTube channel has the all of the videos that we have from the class, and you just make sure you uh, I believe all of them are already enabled to have subtitles. So all you do is just activate them, and then it'll automatically generate them. Cool, that's good. <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anybody else? All right. It sounds great. It sounds like everybody's almost done or getting close to it. Um, is there anybody that's having any difficulty that they need special attention? Anybody that you said, you know, oh man, I haven't gotten past, you know, 3.2 or, or whatever. Is there anybody that's still having some difficulty? Well, in my case, teacher, I have some issues, but uh, my internet or my computer is uh, stuck. So maybe tomorrow I have the chance to to ask it again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And and Eric, remember, if you have an issue or your computer gets stuck, if you have your cell phone, the best thing is just take a snapshot, take a take a picture in the moment that it's working. That way, if it stopped working, you still have the the information that to share or to ask your question from. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, so uh, I think that's, that's the idea. Nobody, I'm sorry. Uh, did somebody else have another question or comment? Okay.
So in this moment, what we're going to take a look at is we're going to go ahead, we're going to go back to our groups and we're going to change topics. We're going to be discussing it. What are your best practices for you to learn English and how will you complete and continue using that? So for example, every time it's important that every semester or every module you look at, okay, what did I learn this module? What did I do that helped me? Or what did I do that did hurt me? Or, you know, what should I, what should I change? So what we want to do is take a moment and think about that. Analyze your own conduct, analyze your own progress. Do you feel you've learned, you haven't learned? Why, why not? The idea is to help you. So if you say, mm, you know, I, I don't think I learned as much as I should have. Okay, let's look at that. Let's analyze that. Why, why is it? Is it, you know, did you not come to the classes? Did the classes not uh, engage you? Did you uh, find the difficult on the platforms? The different things. So we're going to make our groups and we're going to discuss uh, your personal progress, how you feel, uh, what you've done that you felt has helped you the most in this and what you've, you know, some of you maybe have not had any time to practice outside of the class. Maybe you haven't had time really to, to do the platform and you only do it one day in the weekend and that's it. And you, you do what you can and that's all. So all of those things are important. So let's take a moment. Let's talk to our partners about our own personal progress and what we feel has worked and hasn't worked for us. And how was your day? It was it was a great day. I I've been resting the whole afternoon, so it was great. That's good. And you? Well, yes, I do have. Actually, I do have a I do have a rest today in the afternoon because. It was a little bit windy, and I was like, oh my god, I'm cold. <laughs> and, and yes, I, I also cooked today, and it was, it, today was a relaxing day. And you, uh, what can you tell me about, about the English and also this course? <laughs> Have you have learned? A little bit windy, but it is nice. The weather is nice right now. It's nice right now. It is a little bit cold. Actually, I'm on my bed. <laughs> oh, cozy. <laughs> <laughs> after after the class, you're going to, to fall to asleep. asleep. Yeah, I'm going to fall asleep immediately. <laughs> okay, what about... How the, the English classes? This is your first class in, in English corporativo? Yeah, it's my first my first time, yes. And oh, okay. I'm 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 a little bit sad because I'm not gonna be able to have the next course since I'm, I'm going to travel to spend my holidays on on the US with my family. Okay. Then I have to catch up with a lot of work at my office, so I don't I, I don't be able to have the next course. Probably, probably the next one. Um, in my yeah. case, uh, I have learned new things to improve my vocabulary in in this course. Uh, I think uh, I can read a, a very well, very well. Okay. But uh, the listening is difficult, a little difficult for me. Yeah, but it's... I, I try to listen the video, uh, uh, internet, and YouTube. On YouTube, uh, yeah. To improve, yes, to improve my English. Okay. Uh, I try to listen three or four videos okay. uh, in YouTube uh -huh, because the listening is 
listening is is uh, more difficult, uh, but okay. reading no, no, and okay. uh, speak. I I think I I can a little. Okay. Try try to find some things that you like, and and watch them in English. Like let's say if you like movies, try to find a movie that you really like, and then watch it in English. That will help you. Like, uh, I don't know, the brain reacts to those things and like captures more of of the well things that they have to do. Or yes in that way you can like that yes in that way you can consider that you are going to learn the accent and the melody about how they are they are speaking because they have like a yeah. kind of melody when they are speaking so that's really difficult and <laughs> watching some yeah, like the videos of the class in this platform i realized that the that the woman that uh, talks in the videos has a kind of melody and accent when she talks. And I could copy because it's really yeah. easy. That, that was easy because it was easy to understand and how to low or hide the tone of your voice or when to join the words and pronounce it together. It was really easy. Yeah. And uh, yes, and I don't know if you have uh, really found out that if you speak in English, it's different when you speak in Spanish, even even that yes. you're not a native speaker, but if you listen to yourself in Spanish, but then you start to speak in English, you're learning new, new words, new vocabulary. So it you remind you, yeah, they may like neuroscience tests to know how your brain works. But they remind you the, like the exact day that you're gonna forget uh, a new word that you have already learned. Uh, I think I will try it because I I am interested in it. Well, yes. in my daily, I recommend you an app that is called uh, let me see Quizlet. I don't know if have you heard. Oh yes, I think I, I have heard it. Yes. It's only like about quiz. I use Quizlet uh, because, well, because Quizlet, Quizlet is like a, a more vocabulary. And for example, you look for something specific, um, I don't know, maybe vocabulary uh, related to library, and then it shows you uh, a list of, of vocabulary. Uh, glossary and and then you you're able to to learn more about the the things that you want to to know and I use that and also I think it's I think it's a yeah they're from the US and they, they're really nice they're really good I like them a lot yeah after after the class i'm going to, to yeah hear. search for them search for them I'm, i bet that you're gonna like their their music yeah okay but, you know, but, you're gonna learn a lot as well where 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 are you going uh, to travel i'm heading to the u.s but what to, what what state to, to georgia Ah, really? Yeah, I'm going to visit my sister-in-law. She lives in Athens, which is a small city on the north of Is it difficult for you? Tell it to me in Spanish. Uh, for example, what was complicated, uh, complicated in your spirit? The most complicated in your spirit in English? Mm -hmm. Mm, nothing. No, it's like you it was understand really... me the the question. Yes. What was what, what was, was the, but the most you, complicated? You will, not, in... you, you will not say complicated. What was the most difficult for you in your experience? Complicated no. is is like something that mm, 
went wrong pretty much when you when you when you want to have a conversation you you won't be able to use it so maybe you can stack or be afraid in using some other uh, kind of rules or defining or non-defining clauses yes yes you're really right i think so that the most important progress yeah. of us during this course is that we have practiced most of the time, almost the 80% that is required, but yeah. we have practiced a lot. Yeah. That's why we have getting, we have got a lot of vocabulary too. So we learned it and we use it. So it, it's going to be more difficult that we forget it easily because we are using yeah. it anytime that we can. And if, if you realize that one, one of the things that we usually got scary is that we are afraid we are afraid of speaking so but in this course what we try to do is to speak a lot so I yes. guess it's, it's, <laughs> it is the course or the training is designed in order to, to get afraid of our fears right yes because you're right. I don't know why because it's ah, yeah I, 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 I lose, just I'm just single yeah I'm just single do you have a lot of a lot of time to practice English. You yes, have a, a lot, lot of time to practice English. A lot. And I live with myself, so I do have a lot of time to practice. Ah, okay. Okay. I it's it's night. No Sometimes. in Sometimes. my case I am Mary. I I I am Mary uh -huh. uh, for twenty two years. <laughs> The two of them are starting in, in the U.S. or what, or just with Pfizer? No, the two of them. Moderna as well. And uh, actually, Moderna says that they have an average like 94.5% uh, of, of um, effective results. Mm -hmm. And With Pfizer? Pfizer has like... They say just more than, than 90. <laughs> okay. So it seems that Moderna is getting a little bit ahead. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I, I think that as long as we have the uh, medical tra treatment for COVID, this is going to pass by. <laughs> yeah. But you know, we're going to be able to move forward. <laughs> uh-huh. If they are starting in the U.S., I don't know when the vaccine is coming to, to El Salvador or Central America. <laughs> I don't believe me, it's going to take a little bit. <laughs> uh, but the good thing I, is, is that it's not, not going to be a expensive treatment. I heard that it, it would cost like 25 bucks, $25. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's cheap, right, actually. Like yeah. treatment for flu. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It's it's a different kind of flu, I guess. This is from the same family. Yeah, it's almost. Mm. The problem I, is that they complicate it. Complicate another. Um, yeah, if, if you have pre pre-existent uh -huh, disease, is gonna take advance of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a, uh, that's a big difference. You don't know how your body is until yeah, until, until you get sick. Back. Yeah, but besides of that, I think that they have used the COVID to to scare people, <laughs> 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 to plant fear on the pop on the. Okay, guys, great to hear you guys speaking. I see many of you are becoming more fluent. You're, you know, I know sometimes it's a little nervous and we're shy to speak in, in the group, but at least in the small groups, I see most of you speak because in the big group, most of you are quiet when I ask a question. So it's good to hear that in the small groups, it's not the same. You scare us, teacher. That's, I, I, that's what it is. That's what it is. It, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Coach, yeah, Jose. Do you have any PDF books uh, that you can like share with me, or I don't know, like to read in English? Any any interesting books? 
Oh, so many books, Jose, so many books. Um, hang on. Uh, let me put here. Have you ever heard, read uh, The American Sniper, Jose? Mm -hmm. No. That's a really one. That's a really good one. I'm reading it right now. You should try it. Is it in English? Yeah, sure, in English. Okay. The American Sniper. Yeah. Uh, the movie is based on the book. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, it's in the chat, Jose. Um, just take a look at it. They have thousands of books from different levels, from lower levels to higher levels. They have short stories. They have many different things. Um, that's good probably to, that way you don't feel overwhelmed with a novel um, and reading a lot, especially if you're not used to reading a lot. You can usually finish the book in a day because they're, you know, maybe 20, 25 pages each story. Um, something like that but uh, definitely just put in whatever book you want and usually if you put in pdf or uh, or downloadable you'll usually find the book in one format that, that the story is bothering you can yes. you share it in the whatsapp group as well the the what the same the the website yeah, yeah the website please yeah, yeah yeah no problem i'll put it in there okay thanks sure thing all right guys i hope you have a, a great evening and we'll continue again tomorrow Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. See you. Good night, everybody. Bye -bye. Good night, guys. Bye. 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 Teacher, Bye. one question. Uh, yes. Tomorrow is the last day, right? No, tomorrow's tomorrow. Wednesday. No. We, th Thursday is the last day. We're going Thursday. To, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thursday. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Good night. Okay. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.